If you're thinking about heading to Asabono, watch this video for an overview of what you can expect. I hope you enjoy. Tokyo's largest indoor playground is located inside Tokyo Dome City and easily accessible by train. It is open every day, with the weekends being much more crowded. As soon as you enter, you'll notice everything is very clean and very well maintained. There are lockers for rent and places to store your shoes. Wearing socks inside is optional, but masks were required, at least during our visit here in late 2022. Asabono is divided into three main sections, each with a different theme. Let's start in the section that focuses on quieter activities. In this section, you'll find a variety of smaller themed areas with games, independent activities, dolls, books, and other roleplay costumes to use. This area is great for children to explore their imaginations and to express their creativity. There is even an area dedicated to children under 24 months. Here, you'll find a couple of vending machines with snacks and drinks located in a little rest area right beside the toilets. And the toilets, they're very clean and of course, well equipped for families. Moving on to the second section is where you'll find everything transportation themed. Here, you'll find a large open space with areas to play with all of the cars, trains, planes, and other modes of transportation. I thought it was great to see that the toys that did require batteries were all fully charged and ready for the children to play with. Here in the main section of Asapono, this is the highlight of the show. Here you'll find lots of kids screaming and laughing and pushing their bodies to the limits. The play area is designed to encourage movement and to burn off energy. It's a great spot for kids to let loose and have fun in a safe environment. From swimming in the blue ball pit to going down the yellow slides, there's really something for everyone here. And the best part is, parents are encouraged to join their kids and have a lot of fun. After all that playing, you'll probably work up an appetite. Conveniently located right across from the entrance is a small food court. We arrived just before the lunch rush and were lucky enough to get a small table. There's a very popular udon spot at the very end, which I would highly recommend. In conclusion, Asobono is a must do if you're visiting Tokyo with kids. It offers a clean and tidy environment and it really has something for everyone, from quiet activities to high energy activities. Whether you're visiting with a family, friends, or even solo, Asobono is sure to provide a fun and exciting experience. So why not give Asobono a try and make some memories today? Hope you enjoyed this video.